Hi, welcome back to the channel, Guitar RX. This is going to be part two of many parts of a restoration project on this 1964 Gretsch Corvette. Okay, as you saw, the unboxing video was the first one, and it really was sketchy how the thing came packed. I'm surprised the thing wasn't in a million pieces. But anyways, we did some assessing on the guitar, cleaned it up, and I pretty much know what's going on. First off, all the electronics are undisturbed and original all the way down to the jack and I cleaned the pots plugged it in and it, they all work everything works as it should surprisingly now when we got the guitar this wasn't on it this was actually the hardest part probably that we'll have to find for this restoration this is a 60s Burns tremolo and that's what they used on the Gretsch Corvette Lucky, luckily enough I found one out in England it's definitely got some pots and got some wear but I'm going to take that down. This is going to go out to be re-chromed. And this is going to be polished. And basically, I got a bar coming for it. The right bar that didn't come with a bar on this one. But after that, basically, this thing will be restored and ready to go. Okay, now to the dilemma part. Finding a pick guard for one of these is virtually impossible. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. I'm going to have to make a pick guard for this which is no no big deal. First off, let me sit down for a second so I can explain some of this. So I needed to know what to do for a guard. So I went on Google Images and I was able to uh, print out a picture of, of a Corvette guard, pretty much. And I'm like, well obviously this is going to be too small, how's it going to work? How do you do it? So I had to scale it. So what I did was I took measurements between all the screw holes on here for the picker. Let me get my glasses on for a second. I'll show you what I did. I basically measured between here and here, here and here, here and there, and so forth, all the way around the guitar. And I wrote all the measurements down on this piece of paper. So, I went to Kinko's the next day, and what I did was I took that picture, and basically, let me pull this up real quick. And I blew it up I bl from this size I blew it up to it's 120 percent and when I did that I measured my, my screw holes from there to there which would be two and three quarters and and everything that it was are two and three eighths then two and three quarters from there to there and then so forth finally when I blew it up enough so all the holes matched I knew I was to scale and I was to the right size so it's kind of a neat idea. I don't know if it's my idea. It's probably been done a hundred times for all I know. I'm not sure. But I'm the first person I ever saw do it. So not to take credit for it because I'm absolutely positively sure it's been done. So basically, then I had a copy down on cardstock to make a rigid template. And pretty much, well, pots are kind of hitting this right now. But what you see basically is this right here. This is exactly how the pickguard is going to go, how it's going to fit, and awesome. It's going to fit perfect. It's just what I wanted to do. It's the absolutely correct size guard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have to make a plastic guard for this. So we're going to have to make a template. So what I did already off camera, so I took a piece of birch plywood, I laid this over it, and we traced around it. And then I punched all these holes in and I drilled them all through including the, the holes for the electronics for the pots which are right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk over by the saws and I'm going to start cutting this out on the jigsaw and um, I'll get right back to you when I get over there. Okay here we are we're at the scroll saw and I'm going to start cutting this out. Basically I'm going to cut it out just to the outside of these black lines then we're going to come back on the drum sander and we're going to take it to the inside and make it totally the right size. Okay, I got it rough cut out on the scroll saw, and now I'm going to take it inside the line with the drum sander. I'm going to start doing this for a little bit to show you what, what I'm doing, and then I'm going to turn this off and finish it all the way, and then come right back to it. 
Just kind of go around so you smooth everything out. Bring it. You want to bring it right to the inside of that vine. switch to a smaller roll to get these inside contours, but that's okay. I'm going to do everything I can before that. We'll get right back to you after I get this sand. Okay, so we got our template all cut out and shaped. Uh, made out of wood. It's a routing template. Either you could route with it, or you could basically use it on the spindle sander as well. So here's our paper template that we started out with. You can basically lay our paper template over it, just like so. And there you go. That's your. That's how it came out. Real nice. I got some uh, pick guard material coming in today from Amazon, which I don't have yet. And as soon as Amazon gets here, what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to rough cut out the uh, the plastic pick guard material, and then I'm going to two sided tape it to this, and then we're going to go ahead and shape it, and drill it, and basically mount it on the guitar. Anyways, uh, we're going to go for now. As soon as Amazon gets here, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my pick guard material it came in from Amazon, so I traced around it and I rough cut it out, and I stuck it to the template with two-sided tape. Now I'm going to go back over to the drum sander and just carefully cut this out, cut it to the wood, and then I'm going to drill it all, and we'll basically have a pick guard. I do have to cut the bevels in the sides, but I'll do that by hand. But right now, let's go over to the sander. We'll okay, now we're going to cut this out on the spindle sander, sand it out, and when I'm back, when I'm done, we'll get right back to you. With the finished product. Okay, I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, we finished uh, cutting it out on the sander. I removed the template and I went back by hand and I cut the bevels, exposing the black and white on the edges. I did it held like at a 45 degree angle and just kind of went until everything showed up. Now I'm going to finish sand this and then I'm going to chamfer each screw hole and then we're going to put it on the guitar and test fit it. Till then, I'm going to go ahead and chamfer all these holes. Okay, so there you have it. A pick guard made out of enlarging photocopies and measuring screw distances. It's basically, here's a picture of what it, it's like on a guitar and it's exactly the same thing there you go we made a template we took it out on the center then I went by hand I went and I cut all the bevels in there which is at like a 45 degree angle exposing our white just like theirs exposed their white and basically I took some 4 out steel wool knocked some of the shine down because it's on an old guitar so we relicked it just a little bit but uh, yeah, there you go. That's how to make a pick guard where one doesn't exist and where one's too rare to find. So that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on the right hand bottom corner. And please support the channel so I can keep making videos and getting projects to do. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video taught you a lot. And uh, well, we'll see you on the next one on part three. Take care.